Hello, this is Richie from PlayStationCountry.com and today we're taking a look at, well, begrudgingly I have to call it Galaxy, um, even though in my head I call it Galaxy just to annoy them. Anyway, um, yep, Galaxy, and this is on PlayStation 4, and it's a twin-stick shooter of sorts, but with a thrust-based mechanic, a bit like something like Asteroids or more recently, a uh, pixel junk shooter. Now, ordinarily, I don't like thrust-based shooters at all, and I really wasn't impressed by Pixel Junk Shooter, even though everyone else seemed to like it. So it's a bit strange then that I really do like Galaxy. And this comes down to the fact that whilst the controls maybe are still a bit of a struggle, and you're still fighting against inertia and physics, when you actually get into the combat sequences, it's just really exciting, it's really good fun. And actually having to wrestle with controls gives it a different kind of quality to the usual kind of twin stick shooters. I mean, I really love things like Geometry Wars and that kind of stuff, but I don't know, this is just a little bit different, and I think that's good, because it's going to be a while before anything tops Geometry Wars 3 anyway. Even though the controls can be a little bit difficult, it's not too bad, because you've got quite a few ways to kind of even the odds. Um, this comes from, like, picking up salvage when you destroy enemies. Like, as you can see there on the right, there's some floaty bits. You pick those up, and you can sell the salvage to get better weapons and upgrades. This includes different types of bullets, such as uh, different spread patterns, bullets that bounce off of walls, that kind of thing, and then extra shields, stuff like that. So you can either buy these upgrades from this chap in between missions, or you can actually find them for free if you go exploring through the uh, levels that you play. Now the levels themselves are kind of more kind of maze-like affairs, so there's always stuff to be found and it's worth doing this because the game does get harder and harder and you do need to be prepared for what's going to come but the downside is is that the more you go exploring the more enemies you're going to run into and the more chances you're going to have to die and it's kind of important that you don't die because the game treats it very seriously you see the game's very keen to set down a kind of 80s anime kind of vibe to it now I don't really know much about 80s anime, in fact I know nothing about it, but the game presents itself kind of like a cartoon series and it even goes as far as to break the missions down into episodes. So there's five episodes and each episode has five missions within it. If you die anywhere within an episode, you have to restart that episode, okay? So basically if you die anywhere within five levels, you're going right back to the beginning. Now whilst this might seem a bit harsh if you die on like the fourth or the fifth stage of an episode, it does make everything just a bit more tense and it means you've got to take your time, it means you've got to be a bit kind of more strategic about your battles, you can't just go rushing in. If you die, that's going to set you back maybe a good half an hour of gameplay and it's not something that you want to do. This approach is actually kind of typical of Galaxy and just the fact that it's got so many good ideas even down to the fact that when you get onto episode 2 your ship can now transform whenever you want into a mech and that has a sword and a grappling hook and you can use that to grapple enemies and throw them into other enemies or other things it's just a really good idea so overall we really like Galaxy, even though it's got a stupid name so check it out and check out playstationcountry.com or we're going to take your brain to another dimension pay close attention <laughs>